Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing something that's really fun. I'm really excited to show you guys. We're doing the Wet n Wild Catsuit Liquid Lipstick product review and swatches. And so I do have 10 colors here. There are a little bit more than 10 in total, um, but I either couldn't find them at the drugstore or I really didn't think they would look good on me. But now after I've tried all these colors on, I think I might just go buy the rest anyway because majority of the colors I actually really, really enjoy. So. I might just go get the rest. I think there's only a few shades that I didn't get. So I do have the majority of the collection in front of me. Um, and I'm just gonna basically start out with the product review, tell you guys my thoughts, my genuine honest thoughts on the product. And if you do like this video, wanna see more swatches from me, more product reviews from me, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. And let's just get on to the product review and swatches, shall we? Alrighty, so for the product review portion of this, I am gonna talk about the shade range because the shade range is actually very impressive. So this is the lightest shade called Nudist Peach which honestly I didn't think I'd like this shade, but I decided to give it a try and it's actually one of my favorites in the collection. It's a really pretty pinky nude, but not too nude that it washes you out if you're fair skinned. I really do enjoy this shade. And this is one of the darker shades. It is called Video Vixen. And so these are this is the shade range going on here. There's more warm tones, more cool tones, peachy, coral, pink, mauve. There's like everything you could ever want. So they did really well in terms of shade range for this. In terms of the formula, there are a couple streaky shades which aren't my favorite. Video Vixen, I did have to put a couple of shades on, which is what I'm wearing right now. Um, but after two swipes, I did a pretty good job, which I think for a dark color, it is usually really hard to do to make it opaque. So I didn't mind putting two layers on, but it did, it was streaky with the first round. Coral Corruption was also streaky, and so was Give Me Mocha. Those are the three shades that I thought were pretty streaky in the collection. In terms of how it feels on my lips, I'm just gonna compare it to ColourPop's formula because I think a lot of people have tried it, and it's really similar in price range. They're both around $5 each. So, in terms of like comparing it to ColourPop's, ColourPop's is a lot more liquidy, this is a lot more moussier. ColourPop's kind of feels like you're gonna get the life sucked out of your lips sometimes. And this is very, it feels nice. like. I'm not wearing chapstick, I've just put on a billion different shades of this thing and it actually feels really great on my lips. I don't feel like my lips are going to fall off, I feel like this is, this is really nice. It's long wearing especially if you put multiple layers on. In terms of price, they're around $5 like I said. If you go to Walgreens or just look around, you can get really great deals. If you don't want to spend $5 for these guys, just wait till they go on sale at Walgreens or somewhere else because they definitely will. And the product is really good for, especially for the drugstore, but I also think it's very comparable to high-end liquid lipsticks. So I definitely think you should try it out. And let's get on to the swatches because really that's why we're all here, am I right? So just as a forewarning, this is not perfect lipstick application. Some of you guys will be like, Girl, you need some help. Some of these I just put on so you can see what the shade is like on my skin tone, just so you know, don't judge me. But anyways, let's get on to the swatches. 